quite often when I shoot wide angle, I pay a lot of attention to how high the camera is. It makes a big difference with wide angle shots. With telephoto, most of the time, it doesn't matter so much. So I tend to shoot with the camera just at a comfortable height. But today I'm really working on shooting with a long lens, but getting low down. It's a creative choice that I want to make today, and I think it's going to suit the conditions that we've got. So, let's see what happens. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, well before sunrise. We've got some quite nice tones out in the background, which I hope you can see. And I've got an image set up using my telephoto lens, but with the camera very low down in the water. So my image is making use of this rock, which is kind of just about there, and the mountain in the background with the clouds and some colors in there. If I shoot that wide angle, the mountain's going to be tiny, the rock's going to be tiny, there's going to be lots of you know, extra stuff in there that I don't want. So I'm shooting this telephoto, but I'm shooting it with the camera low down, as I would do if I was shooting wide angle. Because I'm using a telephoto lens, I am going to need to focus stack this. And because it's quite dark, I'm almost certainly going to have to manually focus. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do one shot focused on the mountain, and then a shot focused on the rocks in the mid-ground, and then another one focused on my foreground rock. Okay, so we're going to start off with a shot focused out on the mountain. Zoom in. And what I'm actually going to do is use the lights out there in the background as a convenient method to focus. Then I'm going to do one right in on the mid-ground. Make sure they're nice and sharp. And then one right in on the foreground. Just there. foreground rock nice and sharp decided to hang in here and I'm going to shoot some shorter exposures of this I'm just not quite sure whether having a little bit of ripple and movement in the water is going to look better than the smooth flat uh, water caused by the long exposure so I thought I'd just take a few more shots as it's getting a bit brighter um, and you know we're shooting at about three seconds now and I'll just take the opportunity to talk a little bit more about this composition because there's another important factor that I didn't mention so I've clearly used you know a rule of thirds type setup here with uh, the rock over on one side the mountain on the other and this is going to be cropped in probably 8 by 10 might even go square I haven't really decided yet but it'll be one of those uh, just to maximize the impact of it but what I also wanted to make sure is that I've got a separation between this rock and that section in the background it shows that the rock is isolated in the water if I'd had the camera any lower than I've got it then that rock would have started to overlap and that wouldn't look right I've also tried to make sure that the rock and the reflection of the mountain isn't overlapping. As the conditions changed, I made a sudden decision to switch to a horizontal format. Unfortunately, in the panic to recompose and get the focus stack done, I failed to notice that I wasn't recording any new video for it.
Thought I'd try something else just while I'm waiting for some light to change. And I've just isolated a single rock with a telephoto lens. I've zoomed in got a bit more, I don't know, probably about 90 mil, something like that. And it's just the rock surrounded by water. I'm actually gonna do two versions of this to see which I prefer. In one of them, I'm gonna shoot a 0.8 second exposure, and I'm deliberately just gonna create some ripples in the water to create a little bit of texture in there, because I think it might look nice like that. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly pop on a six stop ND filter and shoot another one which will be about 40 seconds 30 to 40 seconds if the light's changing uh, and see what that looks like yeah it's definitely getting brighter so i'm going to put six stop on that's going to take me from half a second to 30 seconds so we'll shoot that quickly now Be enough to take all the ripples out of the water. I'm going to shoot a pano of this scene with a mountain out on the left and then we've got the scene goes across with where Benidorm is, the Sierra Alada, right out to where the sun's coming up. Hopefully this will work. As always, go a little bit wider than I think I'm gonna need. Okay, the sun has now come up, put a lot of light on the scene, which I hopefully captured, and then it's gone behind those clouds over there. And by the time it comes back out the top, I think it's gonna be quite bright and harsh. And I think my photography for this morning is over. And I feel like it's been a productive trip. I've enjoyed myself and uh, hopefully some slightly different compositions. Anyway. I'm going to pack up and head for home and uh, I guess it's time to bid you farewell. If you've enjoyed this video, well, please give it a like, share it on social media, leave me a comment and uh, if you're new here and you've enjoyed this and you want to see more of what I get up to, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. And as always, I really appreciate it when people take the time to watch my videos and that includes you. So if you've watched this, thank you very much and until the next video. Bye.